load feature on this machine. I'm going to stop this. And first, let's talk about what floating is. Floating is the ability to move forward or backward through a design. It is typically used as a repair tool. Now, in the example we have here, if we take a good close look, we're over here right now, but you'll notice we have a bunch of missed stitches. Now, the machine wouldn't just do that, but why would we have an area of missed stitches? Well, there's a couple scenarios. One situation might be you're real busy and all of a sudden the phone rang at the same time you had a thread break, so quickly you fix the thread break, and instead of backing up before you hit start, you just hit the start button. Well, you're going to have an area of missed stitches. Another situation that may occur, thread is made up of multiple strands, and sometimes a couple of the strands broke, but since the entire thread hasn't broken, you're not sewing with a full thickness of thread so the area comes out very thin. So those are a couple reasons why we might want to float forward or backward through the design. Now in order to do so, we want to start out, there's a thread in that sewing field. So we want to trim that. So we start by going into the trim function. We trim the thread and we know where we're leaving off. And we don't want to sew over the stitches that are already sewn, so we're going to need to, after we back up and sew a little bit, we're going to need to be able to float forward. And we want to get back to this location. So currently, we're on stitch number 9482. We want to write that number down because we want to be able to get back to that location. Okay. The next thing we want to do, I apologize, we're at 9582. The next thing we want to do is go into the float function. And there are a couple different ways of doing that. We can either hit the float button down here, and if I hit it once, it puts me to the float function with the double arrows, okay? And the double arrows means I'm going to be moving forward or backward by high speed. If I hit the start button, I'll be advancing forward. If I hit the stop button, I'll be going backward. If I hit it a second time, I'm moving in a slower speed indicated by the single arrow. One more time puts me in regular sewing status. I can also float by hitting the green function button down here and go into the float operation, hit enter, and if I go in this way, I can float forward or backward by stitches. You would tell it how many stitches you want to go forward or backward, as well as I can float forward or backward by color. Well, since we don't know exactly where we are, we're going to float using the float function, and I want to use the slow speed, and I know I need to get back on the zero here, so I'm going to hit the stop button, and I'm going to watch my cursor until I get somewhere over by that zero. Okay, now I know I'm in that area. And what I like to do is I like to take the needle that I'm sewing with, which in this case is number seven, and I like to see that I'm in that area, which I am. Okay, and now I'm going to start sewing. So I'm going to get out of the float function. So I hit the button until I see normal sewing status and I hit start and I'm going to let it fill in that area and then I'm going to stop the machine again. No, 
Oh, we have a little more to go here. And now I'm going to hold the start button in so slowly. Okay, now we're going to do a manual trim. And now we're going to float forward. So now I'm going to take the number where we're leaving off, which is 9,005, and I am going to subtract the original number where we left off. So we left off at 9582, we subtract 9005, so I need to float 577 stitches forward. So I go into my function button, I go to the float operation, and I'm going to float forward stitches, so I hit enter, and I type in from the keypad 577, enter. It goes right to that point. I escape out of that function, hit start, and it brings us right to where we left off and we finish sewing the design. Knowing how to float with your machine can often mean the difference between throwing a garment in the trash, and repairing a garment. So this is a very good function to learn how to use.